What's up, everybody? I'm Kelsey, and I love colorful things, so we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Very Challenged Blue Generation. And this time, we're getting married. Marriage is what brings us together today. Little Princess Bride reference for ya. Our girl just got engaged, and we're so happy for her. But that means it's time for a wedding. We gotta plan and make it happen. Be forewarned that The Sims has been super glitchy for me lately. Anything can happen, and I mean anything. Sims weddings are notoriously terrible. So I'll cross our fingers that no one dies. I feel like I just jinxed us. Also, if you're new here or you just haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. My goal is 1 million subscribers and every new friend counts. So get on in there, join the family. Let's hop in. We're back in the Barry household with our tiny baby Barry. Look at the tiny baby Barry. We just got engaged and we're feeling pretty Good. Vincent got a little bit of cold feet right before the engagement, but he's doing fine now. And our girl River is gonna un unfortunately get cold feet after the engagement and the wedding. We're getting ahead of ourselves a little bit. Right now we're fully in love. It is love day, which is the perfect day before a wedding. I think we'll get married tomorrow. I think they'll they'll go out on a cheeky date maybe after her her work or maybe before, after work. She's done at 4 p.m. And uh, Vincent still doesn't have a job because I am filming a little bit ahead for you guys. So I'm gonna wait to see what you guys think Vincent's job should be before we give him a job. So he's just, you know, taking his time. The job markets, it's rough out there, okay? So Vincent needs a little bit of extra time to decide what he wants to do. But the main thing he wants to do is make his lady proud, make his lady happy. So he's gonna take her on a lovely love day date this evening. A girl's hungry. Okay, why don't you go downstairs and cook up something yummy? We're gonna do party size omelets for everybody. Breakfast time, baby. I'm becoming obsessed with this little house. It's so, so cute. I don't know if I'm gonna keep these curtains because we found these curtains and I don't know. But also like these would go really well if the only they were like silver. Oh, that actually works really well. Like, should we do that instead of these sheer ones? Kind of like in a neutral. Okay, yeah, this per this is perfect. This is like the same kind of look as these guys, but it's got kind of that cozy, a little bit of that cozy vibe to it. Wait, I just realized Parenthood had like a blue counter that matches. I know it doesn't quite match this part. I think I'm gonna go for it. I think we're gonna go for it. You guys can tell me in the comments if you hate it. And then we gotta do, of course, some parenthood. Upper cabinets, maybe, question mark. Ugh, this part of me is just like really wants these cabinets to go. Maybe if we move this down a bit, do something like this, and then we do one of these with this underneath, could be cool. Or we could do like a regular one, tuck it under. The old regular one, tuck it under. Works every time. Ooh, but except for this one, apparently. That's pretty cute though. We'll put this out here. A little nice decor piece here. And then I don't I don't know what else we need. Like what else is there? Some nice blue pieces here. Could have like these. These are custom content, but they're so cute. We could do one blue and then the one like cream. Oh, or we could do like a lighter blue. <gasps> I love the light blue. That's nice. Okay. We should have like a little cute rug for when you come in, you know, just like a little something coming through that door. That's perfect. I love that. Uh, oh, we could also do something here in front of this sink, cozy. So then maybe we do something else there. Oh, little puppy one. That's so sweet. I love it. A little dog bone because they're doggy family now. This is such a cute house. I am so pleased. Obviously up here needs a little bit of adjustment, but this house is coming together so well. I'm very, very excited about it. Finishing up her omelet, having a bit of it for breakfast in her little nook over here, her dining nook. And her her boyfriend's here coming outside with a piece of cake. He wants to just express devotion to his beloved Sim. Why don't you do so? Get your butt over there, Vincent. I know it's a beautiful day to sit outside on your little porch, but your woman's inside. Oh, and puppy needs to go. We need to ask him to go potty. But look at this devotion between these two. Barry has learned out how to pee outside. Good job, my little blue bear. River is going to go to work today. Or you know, 
know what? She could work from home. Oh shoot. I should have had her work from home. I've not done that one yet. All right, well, we'll do that next time. I do kind of want her to get a promotion again. She hasn't written a column though. Well, I guess we should have done that, but that's okay. Maybe like hug her. Beyonce lovingly. They're both really loving on each other. <laughs> oh, and look who's got a poo out here. You can go clean that up. River and Barry just became good friends. Aw. Oh, cause she gotta go to work. Go to work, River. You're a little late. Good luck. Oh my gosh, in her little power suit too. Slay queen. I kind of want to add like a little seating area out here. I know I keep I keep stopping the game to do this, but it's fun. What can I say? We need a nice little bl outdoor blue rug. We could do like one of these guys. That's cute under there. Or maybe we do it in the other version. Yeah, I like that better. It's like a little nautical rope moment. This one does look like an outdoor rug. Maybe we'll do it like this. Give it a little bit of a different look than the, the rest of its stuff down there. Okay, and then we'll do some outdoor furniture. Ooh, these are so cute. I was kind of thinking something a little bit more cozy than the wicker. I wish there was just an outdoor furniture section. You know, things that worked for outdoor furniture. My brain is like having trouble reminding myself what outdoor furniture looks like. I feel like this is good though. And we can do kind of a, a neutral look. Here. I was gonna do more of like a, this kind of look with the cream, but I'm not really seeing a good version of that. So maybe we'll just do these. Like that kind of thing. Little cozy moment. I feel like we gotta do, ch or we could do like this. I guess that looks probably better, huh? Maybe like a love seat here. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good because it's up against the wall there. And then we do like a little shorter version of this same look along this side, maybe. Oh, I like that texture of it. Wait. What is this one? I love this love seat from Get Famous. I wish it came in different. Wait, hold on. If we could just do two love seats. Okay, wait, this is kind of working for me. I know it's kind of ugly, but hear me out. I also really love this swatch with the br with the blue, but I think it's almost too much blue. I know, don't quote me on that, but so confused as to what I want here. But then you could have like these kind of things, like little chairs. These ones are nice. We could do like this maybe instead. I'm having trouble. I was like, it's just gonna be so quick and it is super not quick. Final answer, one here. I think I want the longer one. These can go here like that-ish. I like this swatch but I'm kind of wondering if I should do a different swatch. But I really like it, so maybe I just won't. I don't know. I think it kind of goes. And then we do the one that I liked. We could put like this and then we'll sw swap them, I think, then. I know, I was so difficult, but I think this is my final answer for the configuration of the seating. Now we need like a little outdoor coffee table moment here. Yeah, this is a good table for this section here. Yeah, like maybe a darker brown to match kind of the brown of all these, or we could do a light brown to match the wood over there. But if we did that, maybe we should do this kind of thing. But I love the dark brown on these. I think, you know what? I think that all goes. Perfect. And then we can do maybe like a little planter or something, something like that. Something really simple and more outdoor looking. We should probably do some like string lights. Now we're cooking. We can do something like this. We could even make them smaller. I kind of like it when they're tiny. Oh my God, how stinking cute is that? <gasps> oh my gosh, can I, can I move in? Seriously. Like, I don't know how to put them on this side, to be honest. Yeah, like that. And then we'll like kind of have them cross over each other over here. Yay, back area is complete. I think obviously we need some fun stuff over here, but that's for a future day. Maybe even a hot tub could be kind of fun. Oh, actually, you know what? We need like some sort of art or decor right there. Like some little wall piece I think would be so cute. Maybe we do like little outdoor lights instead, like on either side here. Maybe these in the blue. Oh my God, stop, so cute. Yeah, we're definitely in our um, more nautical era with that, but I ain't mad at it. So I might do white just to like kind of get more contrast there, but cute, 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 cute. We're, we're good, we're good. He's taking the trash out. Let's have him purchase a gift of a flower, a rose for her since it's the holiday. Ooh, boss's birthday. River wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. How should she go about it? Order it on 
online, obviously. We're living in 2024. River takes a guess at what her boss wants and completely whiffs. Her boss was pretty nice about it though, and the thought that counts. All right, that's not too bad. Why don't you work about like training the baby, okay? What's wrong? Is anything wrong? Give you some hugs, give you some pets. Oh, look at these two, so sweet. Oh, he wants to become flirty. I think that's gonna happen once your fiance gets home and love day action occurs. And River got home today. She did great work. Let's get our mail really quick. She wants to go say hi to the puppy. That's her first order of business. She's like, um, I must say hi to my puppy, but my puppy's asleep. But why don't you, Vincent, surprise her with a love day gift of a rose? Since he's already feeling flirty because she's around, he also wants to kiss her. So be like, happy love day, my love. Aww. Why is Clement Frost calling? I've called to inform you that your great, great second once removed cousin friend's grandpa has passed away. I don't know why Father Christmas is giving us this news, but I love it. And for some reason has left you a vast fortune specifically to you. Will you accept? Um, yes, give me now. Very well, however, now that you've accepted, I must inform you that you will only get this money if you become married within seven days. Those are the terms, which is great because they're getting married tomorrow. So this is fantastic. His love day is going great. He's got two for two. She needs to, you know, get into the romantic spirit a bit, maybe recite him some love poetry. And then I think he's going to ask her on a date today. And she's like, yeah, I feel like they should do a a day out on the town in their new neighborhood. So let's see what options we have for community. So we have a library. We have the celebration center, recreation center. And that's about it. Okay, well, I don't know if I wanna do that. We could stay at our house or we could go to the library, but then like walk around, but it's raining. So we don't wanna go. What if he took her to ski? Well, it would be cute if she took him to ski. But it'd also be cute if he took her to ski. That could be kind of cute, them hitting up Mount Komorebi. I haven't gone to like a Mount Komorebi date in a minute. They don't have to ski. We could just vibe at the onsen. Oh, you can't go to onsen for a date. Okay, this is all coming back to me. Well, I don't want to go to the bar. Oh, you know what? Tartosa would be cute for a date, like pre-wedding vibes. Yay, okay, happy love day. River, change your fit, girl. You gotta change it. And then you need to change your fit something a little more formal. Yeah, I like his little like semi-formal look. Okay, let's go sit here together upstairs. It feels like they're doing a date out of like cake tasting or like, you know, like food tasting before their wedding. I don't know, it's so cute though. But let's uh, compliment her outfit. It. Whisper some sweet nothing. Maybe do a little make out. A little flirt with your date moment. Look at these two. So romantic. The day before they're wedded. They're so young too. Oh my gosh. Tell her a funny story. And River, why don't you flirt back with him? They're gonna have some deep conversations. We're gonna maybe give a little massage have some deep conversations about life, maybe when they wanna have kids. They're so cute, look at them. Okay, and then I want them to do a little sweetheart dance together. They're sitting next to like a little wedding thing and they're practicing their first dance. Maybe they'll go get like a little drink together. We're gonna order, hmm, little little wine moment. He's like, bartender, a round of drinks for my fiance and I. We're gonna get married tomorrow. Oh, and she looks so cute with her little glass of white wine and his little glass of white wine. They're so sweet. I'm glad that we came here. That's been very cute. We should give him a love day gift. We're gonna give a love day gift of this fire opal. It's very expensive and I got it for you. Do you like it? I think he did. He liked the crystal. Very cute. Ooh, she's a little bored. She needs some fun. I think dancing together is fun. Yeah, dancing is fun. She's practicing her moves. They're like picking out, you know, music for their uh, wedding. Like, ooh, is this song a good one? We'll have to try it out. We'll have to dance it out, see if it's a good song. Oh, wow, who is angry? Oh my God, it's my dad. Why is my dad here? He's probably like, why didn't you invite me? Why am I not the man of honor at the wedding? Why are you so mad? You knew they were moving in together. Okay, maybe he's mad because he didn't ask his permission. He hasn't 
properly introduced himself to his father-in-law. Well, yeah, that'll do it, Vincent. You gotta go cheerfully introduce yourself to your father-in-law here. Go introduce yourself. King. And then you're like, hey, how's it going? Come on over here. Oh, he's he's feeling better now. He's like, okay, at least they acknowledged me. Okay, she needs to pee. So why don't you guys have like a deep personal conversation together? River, why don't you go pee? She's like, I'm gonna go to use the restroom. You two get along. He's like, yeah, d you know, man to man. Maybe he's gonna ask him to be the sim of honor at the wedding. He's like, will you be our sim of honor? You've meant so much to River. Aw, he says, yes. I would love that. Look at them having a nice hug about it. Oh, and they even bonded. That's so sweet. Why don't you have a deep conversation and tell him a little funny story? River's feeling a little better. She's gonna go back upstairs, give her dad a little hug. These two are just chat, chitty chatting away. It's a little awkward. Announce the engagement, be like, we're engaged. I think you already knew, but in case you didn't, we're engaged. He did crash our love day date, which might be why it's so awkward. Oh, and he feels flirty again. He feels flirty again once she, she walked in. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. Dad is feeling a lot better spending time with his little girl. Why can she romance her dad? That's her dad. Ew, uh, Sims. Uh, like, that's her dad. That's her stepdad. That's so gross, Sims. All right, well, we gotta make sure that we don't accidentally embrace him instead of hug him. Hate that for me, but that's okay. The date is complete. Yay! It's so nice. Very successful. We should go home. We gotta get to bed early. We have a wedding tomorrow. But thank you, dad, for being here. It's good to see you. I'm glad that you had some time to bond with my fiance. And we're gonna head out. Vincent's like, I'll let you guys have a little private time. But he's feeling so romantic and River's feeling so happy. Everything's going so well. Can't wait for the wedding. All right, we're back, baby. And it's time to go to bed, baby. They could woohoo together or do like a little pillow fight, a little romantic woohoo. Why not? You know what? They're ma they're engaged. It's love day. Have a little romantic woohoo. I don't know whether or not they can get pregnant off of that woohoo. I think not, but regardless, it's all good. Shell Hill just had to be there you know, in the middle of them deciding they were gonna woohoo for the first time. Vincent feeling pretty excited, I think, about everything. Walking into the room. Oh my God. Sometimes I wish my rooms were a little bit bigger so I could see them all better. But they're they're going to bed tonight. Bang on the candles and make it romantic. Vincent and River are woohooing for the first time. All right, and then they've fallen asleep. No, yes, just go to sleep, girl, you're tired. Love day was successful for both of them. So five. And we got to have a little wedding today. It's Saturday. We don't have work today, I believe, right? We don't. So perfect timing. He obviously doesn't have work today. He doesn't have a job. We might have like an early-ish wedding. I don't know. I don't want to wait too long. And the weddings take forever. Why don't you guys both get some breakfast? Yes. Good morning. Happy day of the wedding to us all. She's sitting outside in her beautiful outdoor area, having a nice morning. Her fiance is headed downstairs, gonna pick up his stuff. And look at them having their little breakfast together. And oh, he like grew some facial hair and I'm not mad at it. That's some good looking facial hair on you. Look at them. I think they definitely more than need makeovers at this point. They need to look a little older. I'm gonna do it in the next episode because I think we're gonna take up the most time with this wedding today, but we'll still do a wedding makeover. So we're gonna go into our bedroom here in our big fancy mirror and we're going to plan our outfits. All right, Fanuza can bed, here we go. We're gonna have to choose her wedding dress. This is so exciting, I cannot. There's like a blue version of this or like a light blue. The light blue is so nice. I think she's gonna go for a beach wedding, but she's also very princessy. This one's actually kind of perfect. It comes in this very delicate light blue and it's mermaid, which is kind of like a little bit beach wedding vibes. We have this one too, that's kind of chill and has a little blue belt, which is cute. And I could do totally see her wearing something like this, just the classic. Sims dress. 
wedding vibes. This also is cute for her. She's always been rocking that. She is such a classic girl. Oh my God, this one's so cute. I love this on her. I'm gonna go with this one for now, just out of curiosity's sake. Trying to find like a cute hair. That one's okay. And then we do like one of the little wedding veils that I have. This one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, how cute is she? And her hair can be her something blue. Like, come on. We could also give her gloves. Like, oh my gosh. I feel like the shell necklace kind of goes because it is gonna be on the beach, but we could also do something kind of like that. This like wedding, little wedding necklace too would work. Has like little blue on it. But I, I kind of like this one. That one's really simple. This isn't quite giving beach wedding though, I won't lie, but that's okay. We're gonna have to just uh, do what we do with the beach wedding here. But I love this idea that she wears blue shoes to match her hair. Like, oh my gosh, how cute. We should definitely, definitely do her nails. Give her like a really cute little French manicure vibe. Yeah, cute. Is there anything else I wanna do? Oh, toenails, we could do her toenails. Let's do them like, kind of a pink or something, something simple. Little bubble bath kind of moment. Uh, okay, I don't know if she would have anything else. I mean, I guess I can redo her makeup a little bit, make her a little bit more of a, of a soft blushing bride moment. And then her lips. Wait, lips, yeah. We could do kind of like a more pinky color. She's looking so beautiful. I like this one look. I think it's very cute. Maybe I'll do a second one because I'm indecisive. I don't know. We could do something like this. Little white dress. Oh my God, so cute. She does give me I have two dresses kind of vibes. Could do one of these two. No veil, obviously. And then maybe like her necklace is the little matching thing. Oh, so cute. This is also kind of giving beach, but a part of me wants it to be white. It's just so classic if it's white. I'll do a little white rosette. Oh, and we didn't do earrings. Okay, gotta do some, some cute little bridal earring moments. Let's do like a pearl. She's given old money pearl vibes, or maybe like one of these guys. I wish there were like little, little bitty pearls. I need to download those. Oh wait, these are kind of little bitty pearls. There you go, that looks good. And then we'll do little bitty pearls here too. Perfect. Aw, her little bitty pearls. And then for him on his wedding day, I mean, he's looking smoking with that. Look, I love this. I think I'm gonna do another one. I want his hair to be more clean for the wedding like pushed back like that, but also got, oh God, that makes him look so much older. Oh my gosh, he looks so much older. Like, is there one like this? Maybe there's not. Okay, I'll keep it like that. That's his classic hair. He's got his little earrings, which I love. We could do try to do like a blue. Oh yeah, we gotta do a blue and then we'll do like a blue or like a brown shoe or blue shoe. No, gray. Or maybe that is working for me. Yeah, I like this one. All right, man's is looking good, Vincent. Okay, it's time to make a wedding. We should have gotten a wedding cake. Ooh, oh, it's okay. Wedding ceremony, bride and groom, obviously Fletcher is the sim of honor. We don't have anybody else, but we do need guests. So Bran, Brielle, Azul, we're gonna have everybody that we know and are kind of friends with here. Oh, Deshaun is a bear. I'm not inviting Deshaun. Not if you're gonna come in a bear fit. Elise can come. Juliet, Julia, Julius. Hey guys, so sorry I had an error with my footage. For the next little bit of this video, it's gonna be a podcast, so please enjoy. Oh, Paige, definitely, Lucia, Nicholas. Oh, Royal and Quentin have to come. Okay, wait, then I have to walk it back a bit. Okay, let's see. Azul, we don't know you that well. Bran, no. Brielle, obviously. Bailey, okay. Quentin, and then obviously Robin. That's the guest list. Activities, we're gonna have a little spousal kiss. We're gonna have an exchanging of vows. And that's about it. Okay, our outfit approved. Dress code is polished. And the location is going to be in Sulani. It's the wedding venue. Now, actually this wedding venue was created by Lulu Sue. I, I downloaded it from the gallery and it's like a, it had like a blue theme. I added even more blue to it and made a couple adjustments, but I just thought it was so sweet since Little Simsy actually like created the Not So Very Challenge to have our final gen's wedding at her location on the beach. Yeah! 
that my mom is wearing her wedding dress to my wedding. Mom, no. Oh my God, she only has the one formal wear. What's the least embarrassing outfit my mom could wear? They're all pretty bad. I guess this one, the cold, no, but she's gonna get overheated. Oh my God, we're gonna have to change her outfit. All right, we can just adjust this outfit. So she just, as long as she doesn't wear the veil, it's just a dress. I'm praying the wedding event is still happening. Otherwise I'm gonna have to redo the whole thing. The wedding has arrived and she's in the wrong dress, but that's okay. Look how sweet they look. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, we didn't invite any of our guests. Oh crap, okay. Let me quickly do it one more time. <laughs> Jeez. We're at our wedding. Everybody is going to attend. So if you guys haven't seen it, this is the wedding venue. I added little pops of blue, but there already were a lot of pops of blue in this venue. So we have the little bar. We got the area where we're gonna be married. We've got to hire a pianist maybe. Oh my gosh, Macy Berry as entertainer. Yes, that'd be so cute. And then we have like the little reception area. We're gonna have everybody please take your seat seats. Over here, we've got our girl, Juliet, looking so cute. Oh my gosh, we have Paige. Look at, oh my God, little Aspen moment. We got Bailey St. James looking classy as heck. I don't know why Brielle is not looking as fancy as everybody else. Change your outfit, please. All right, good enough. But everybody's looking good. Oh my gosh, look at my little sister. My cousin, Quentin's there, Royals looking cute. Oh my gosh, I should have had Robin be the ring bearer. It's so cute. Don't sit in the aisle, Aspen. There are plenty of seats literally everywhere. Oh my God, they're all sitting down on the floor. There's my mom, not in a wedding dress, which is great. Thanks, mom. She looks kind of shocked. Oh my God, and Macy Berry's a ghost. All right, let's send down the aisle one Sim and it's Vincent. They're just chatting before their wedding. Look at these two. She's like, okay, it's your time. And he's like, okay. I'm going down the aisle. Even though there's like a bajillion people in my way and it's raining. We're gonna send down Fletcher and our girl River next. Come on, River, let's go. Your dad's gonna escort you down the aisle, I think. Let's see if it happens. Anything? No, nothing? And they're just sneaking off to kiss each other. Uh, of course they are. Send down two Sims. What if it was River first and then Fletcher? Is it gonna happen? Nope, as usual, no. Okay, exchange vows and kiss. All right. All right, let's just get out there, kids. No walking down the aisle. Everyone's sitting in the sand in the wet, but everyone's crying. They have the beautiful ocean behind them. Please ignore whatever piano is going on here. He's crying and he loves her so much. Look, there's a rainbow behind them. That's so romantic. Oh, he's putting her ring on her finger. Oh, and they try to kiss and they smash each other's faces. So cute. Aww, celebration. Congratulations, we accepted the inheritance money, which I think gave us like 20,000 simoleons or something crazy. How sweet are they? Oh, look, and now she and her dad are finally going down the aisle. Nice. Wow, thanks dad. Actually, I should have let them walk back down the aisle. Come on over here, you two lovebirds. Here we go. Oh, okay, they're going around everyone. They did it, they're married. Okay, this guy just got a crush on Lucia. Wait, I see it. Oh my gosh, I wanna set them up. Be like, you know, Lucia's looking pretty hot tonight. So Lucia sounds like a catch, I'll introduce myself when I see her. <gasps> Look at him offering her a rose. She said no, that didn't go well. I don't think we'll be going out again. Oh, burn. Uh, maybe she doesn't like men, I don't know. Let's gather for the recessional inside, everybody. Nope, they won't go inside. Come on, gather here. Are they gathering for the recessional outside? All right, whatever. I want our girl to sit here and I want our, our man to sit here and I want speeches. Oh, maybe we need like a little thing for speeches. We'll delete this and we'll have a little toast guy. Yeah, a little toasty guy. Let's have request a toast from my dad. All right. so. Hopefully we'll have them all gather over here. Girl, why don't you sit here? No, I want you and your hubby to sit here for the speech. No one is listening to me, but I thought they would look cute right here. And she does, you know what? She does. Oh my God, this wedding is hell. That's it, no one's listening to me. Y'all, it's over, okay? This wedding is officially over. Nothing's going according to plan. This wedding is over. Y'all are married, the end. I had a lot of fun with this episode. I hope you did too, despite the chaos that we all knew was coming but no one died. Was someone already dead? Yes. Leave me some baby names because our girl's probably gonna get pregnant in the next episode. And until next time, I'll see you on the internet very soon. Bye.